Families have so much to process tonight with a governor closing public schools for the rest of the year. It's a tough news for children and parents. And even though it is difficult, experts say we can turn this situation into a really positive experience. I think it's really important now for us to be honest with our children and let them know that something's going on in the world that's requiring us all to be a team. With our children officially learning from home for the rest of the school year, clinical psychologist Dr. Donna Rockwell says it's more important to bring joy to your home classroom than to get everything perfect. Do your lesson planning, do the best you can, but the children need to see you as parent, as teacher, be confident and not to be anxious or worried about whether you're doing a good job or not. That could really backfire. Children thrive on structure. Create a schedule with them and keep it and have a designated spot in your home for school. They know where they can play and the children know when they sit in this particular area, this is where school is and this is where I need to get serious and this is where I need to focus address the emotional and mental effect on children not being able to see their friends, give them time to socialize with virtual play dates. It's okay to be vulnerable. Let them know you will get through it together and be honest with your kids, but don't overshare. Only tell them what they want to know and talk about what this means for your family. We live within the context of history. Things have happened from the beginning of time to now. There have been world wars, there have been famines, there have been other times when we've had to pull together and be strong. How can we be the greatest team, the best family that we can be during this time? That can really benefit children in the context of their emotional development. For families with two working parents, try to become teammates to get this done. Of course, we're going to be worried that our children are gonna fall behind. And we're gonna have a lot of concerns and um, worries that come into our mind. But I think it's important to be able to put that worry aside, to bracket it, and come back to now, to the present moment, and what do I have to do to help Johnny learn his times tables right now? And really stay focused on the here and now, and that will help us get through to the end of the year. Dr. Rockwell stressed, while it is important to make sure kids are practicing good hand washing and other behaviors to stay physically healthy, parents also need to focus on their children's emotional well-being. For more advice from Dr. Rockwell, just head to the health page of clickondetroit.com. She definitely is a blessing. She has lots of great advice. New 